I mean, <sighs> it's weird to think that after all this, we still have that photo. <laughs> crazy and to think I still have Jonah's photo too. <laughs> Can't believe he kept it all this time but I'm glad I'm glad he did because <laughs> it's the only thing I have to remember him by <laughs> and honestly looking at this photo <sighs> three of the people in this picture are gone now, David, Jonah, Elise, for all I know, Zai could be too, but I, I don't know, it's not the time to get sentimental. He's reading his book, Ruby's watching him. Suppose I better just um <clears throat> go and see if the Paxtons are where they were probably want to head out before it gets completely dark. I mean, this isn't a bad place to set up. I mean, it's pretty big, but not bad. Not bad at all. Hey, what do you think this place was used for? I mean, um, I'm not exactly sure, but the sign Savior Zone. So this was probably a place where people stayed to rise up against the aces. But who were the saviors? Um, I told you about David's murder, right? Yeah, but that was when he was going by claw. Yeah, I know, but still David to me. The saviors are the group that killed him. Um... <laughs> Yeah, they're the they're the ones that killed him, so that's who they are. So the people that were here were working against them. I mean, that'll explain the bodies we had to carry out of here. Yeah, I guess so. Considering the amount of beds in the warehouse, there were quite a few people here. Makes me wonder what happened to them all. The ones we didn't find here, I mean. Don't really want to find out, to be fair. I mean, they couldn't have been that good of people, considering they basically have a jail in the workyard. With a lot of beds, too. I think they were kidnapping aces and saviors. Well, that'd be my guess. For all we know, they could have brought whatever happened to them upon themselves. Either way, it's not a bad place to set up camp. <laughs> Agreed. I was just thinking that, but it definitely wouldn't make much of a home, though. No, but it'll do for tonight. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I suppose I'd better take a walk down the road. I can go with you. Thanks. <laughs> um, It's probably stupid of me to say no, but I'm going to go alone. I know better than to try and argue with you by now, so just be careful. Keep your eyes peeled. We don't know who could still be in this area. I will do. And, um... I'll make sure to hurry back. You better? <laughs> yeah. You know I will. I'll see you as soon as I get back, okay? <sighs> right. Suppose... I better go and take a walk, then. I mean, yeah. To be fair, considering this used to be an old Littles... It really doesn't look... Too bad, it's actually surprisingly clean, which is surprising to me. I mean, the shelves are completely empty, but there's absolutely no supplies or anything. But whoever was here, or the group that were here, must have cleared out, I don't know, most of them. I say most of them, I don't know how many when we searched the place, so... Don't know what went down here, but couldn't have been good, whatever it was. But... It's good that there's these walls up. I mean, it does us a little bit of good. And let's open that and make sure we lock it behind us. Okay, good. Now this. I do like that there's two gates as well. Unless if this one gets breached, then you still got a second one. But, okay. Open this a step back. Make sure there's no ghouls. Okay, good. 
Right. I think I'm going to stick to the outsides of the walls because Rosia and Ace are up there. I mean, to get a look on any ghouls in the area. And there's our anti Acer and Savior zone. Border, sign, whatever. I think there's a few ghouls over there. But. I mean, it's kind of strange. After hearing Mill call them. Walkers? Did she call them? I mean, I think that's what she called them. It's kind of a little bit strange to me. <clears throat> you know? I mean. The fact that we could have different names for the same thing. I mean, I called them ghouls just because I found them <laughs> calling them zombies kind of stupid. I mean, it's exactly what they are, but because of all the movies and the comedies about them, it's kind of hard to take people seriously when they're calling them zombies. I mean, it doesn't really make sense. Ghouls could be <laughs> anything. It could mean anything. Could be the zombies... Could be just monsters in general. I don't know. I don't know. I <laughs> just thought that was strange. I mean, I'm pretty sure someone called him a daddy or something stupid like that at one point. All of that aside, anyway. Let's move on to the job at hand. <laughs> I'm a little bit rusty, so since there's a silencer on this, we might as well get a little bit of practice in. See how accurate I am still. Okay. That's <laughs> not bad. One shot, one kill. Let's see if I can do it again. Yeah? Free? Can we get lucky free? Yes, we can. Free bullets, free kills. So, I'll take that. I mean, I've been practicing. But I am really running out of bullets. Nine bullets left by the looks of it. I think, right? One, two... Yeah, nine. <sighs> Not bad, though. I mean, it'll last, and considering the guns we found, I mean, it's honestly... We're doing pretty well for weapons, to be fair. Should be coming up on it, right? I think... I think we must be coming up on... The house. This isn't... This is the house, but... This... It's... It's burnt down? And... The Ace logos are all over it. No, this can't be, this can't be true. There's ghouls in there. <sighs> okay, take these out. That one took two bullets, but whatever. Are there any more in it? Okay, we're clear on this side. <sighs> what the hell happened here? <clears throat> Trevor! L Louise? Lauren? Katie? <sighs> Ghouls anymore? No, the, their truck's gone. <sighs> what, what, what the hell happened here? I mean, from the Acer logos, it must have been something to do with them, but... Owen? Ashton? Uh, that's not a ghoul. <clears throat> okay, shot that one. Uh, it's... It's Brent! Are you... are you in here? The, the gun didn't fire. I've pulled it, but it didn't. And of course, when I do fire, it shoots two. Four rounds now. Hello? Anyone? There's no one here. I searched the downstairs, I searched the backyard, or the back garden. There's no one here. Doesn't look like there's been anyone here for a while. There's only one place left to check. And it's up there. The loft. I mean, I know they had a secret latch. Just in case of emergencies, but... <clears throat> Good, I made that jump. If they're here... This is the last place they could be. Yeah, then I, I don't know where they are. I mean, <clears throat> I didn't I didn't see any blood, but then again, I don't know how long ago this happened. <sighs> Let's put this back down. <sighs> I don't know, but... <sighs> Anyone? Hello? It, it, it's Brent Forlow. Um, it, I'm, I'm a friend, remember? You remember me? <sighs> no, they're not here. 
Where the hell are they? Were they taken? I mean, I, I fought David's group, the Aces. I mean, I know they, they killed the people at Swift Creek ages ago, but... He said he was doing things for the greater good. I mean, I... David definitely changed, and I mean, I know David's not in charge anymore, but... Would they really do something like this? Was this a box? It's all scratched out, but... Looks like it could have spelt Brent. Made for me. Yeah. <laughs> this has definitely got to be for me. So, One of Trevor's wooden sculptures, just like the owl. And what's this? A bag of something? I don't know. Don't know what that is. There's a book written on the front. It says, it hopes you read this. <sighs> Let's keep a watch out for the entrance, but... What does this say? Um, to Brent. I'm rushing to write this, as I don't know how long we have left here. That's strange. My grandson I told you about, and my daughter? They came here, all the way from America, to get us. That's, that's good, right? I mean, it means that the Aces don't have them. We're leaving with them. We're alive. You may have forgotten about us. You may never ever read this. Some stranger could be reading this, might destroy it or dump it, but I'm holding out hope that you kept your promise and that you came back here to see us with your family, I hope. Your son. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm sorry we're not here. We got attacked a few times recently. A group called the Aces. Watch out for them. So, they were attacked. They don't like when people don't want to live by their rules, under their rule. They shot at us, set fire to the house. We're packing up as I write this. I wish I could have met your family. It made it sound like they were great people. I still hope I might meet them someday. You again too. For now you'll have to settle for the little dog I made you. Not much, but a token. You know the meaning behind them. Oh, and one last thing. You might not remember, but my son-in-law, the one that burned in the house, we never got around to going back there. If you could maybe go there, bury him for us. The dogs, too. But I'd, I'd really appreciate it. Fourteen Peds and Road. Okay. I need to make sure I remember that. Actually, no, I don't. I'll take the book with me. Then that way I won't forget. Not far from here, okay? His name was Andrew Appstone. The dogs were Brutus, the biggest one, Bruno, the medium one, and Dex, the small one. If you can't do this, that's fine, but as I said, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, I don't think there'll be much left, to be fair, but I guess that's another thing to do on my to-do list. I mean, it's the least I can do for them saving me. Definitely do that. I'm leaving you a set of our Spetsnaz armor too. That must be what was in the bag. It'll come in handy while keeping your family safe. My grandson is calling for me, so I'll have to leave this letter here. Looks like I'm going on a helicopter ride. <laughs> a helicopter ride? <laughs> I mean, he was a crazy old man. All the best. Trevor Paxton and the rest of the Paxton Appstone family. <sighs> well, um, I mean, it's it's not a good sign, but at the same time, it's <laughs> not a bad one either. So, at least, at least I know they're not they're not dead or taken or something like that. At least I know that wherever they are, they've been reunited with their family, with his grandson and his daughter, which is good to hear. I mean, to be honest, I'm looking forward to the day that I get reunited with my brother and sister. I mean, considering I promised I'd never leave them again, I really didn't stick to that promise. And the stupid thing that's even worse is that once I get back, hopefully take Lakeworth back from Reed, <laughs> I'm going to have to leave again to go and get the twins. But 
<laughs> I don't know. I'll work that out when I get closer to Lake Worth, but... For now, I guess I have to go and deliver the bad news to the others. That we don't have any friends to travel with us, but... I mean, what it does mean is that we don't have to wait around. We can just stay here for tonight and make our way out of the town, so... Let's go and deliver that bad news.